Tuesday. I just stopped to get chicken tenders and fuel at Pilot in Gallup, New Mexico, almost into Arizona. And I'm going to show you these beautiful Red Rock Mountains set up in Gallup, New Mexico, right in front of the cliff here. There's beautiful, bright red mountains across here. All right, get back at it, get home. All right, we're back at it here. So we've got, like we promised, we're gonna do some high banking. He's got a little Lester there is getting his cart ready. He thinks he's gonna take that down the hillside. <laughs> um, I'm sure he's gonna try. He's got a bunch of stuff. I got the pack mule here for another 15 minutes. And I was gonna do my cons on the Keen Mini Max here through the, the clean out matting, but I forgot the I almost forgot what was that? I almost forgot the pump. But I got the pump, but I forgot the valve, so I can't cut the water back, so I'm not gonna be able to use the clean out matting. But like I said, I've got a Keen Mini Max high banker. We're gonna move lots of material. And Lester there's got a really nice gold hog high banker dredge combo. Alright, you ready? <laughs> what the heck? Guys, you see it down there. <laughs> All right, I made it down to the cutoff down the hillside here. I thought that was a bear when I first looked down at the. It's a cow. <laughs> He's right in our by our spot. Hey, hey, bud. All right, Amy, thanks for hauling that stuff. Lester will be along with his cart in an hour or two, and no, <laughs> a minute or two. She's going to go back to the house and uh, get some real big half-pound burgers ready to barbecue here in a couple hours, a few hours, and uh, I'm going to get set up here and hang out with the cow down there. Where'd he go? There he is. A big cow. All right. We're going to see some nice gold today, guys. You ready? All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just leave it there and your little feet wouldn't make it down the steep hillside. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I got the Mini Max set down there in that watering hole, which has gone down about a foot since last week already. But here's where we were digging, Lester and I last week, just panning and getting some good color, some good gold. So what I've been doing is picking up under this blackberry bush and picking that and classifying a quarter inch and then when I get that full we'll go run it through the mini max and see what we got All right, got the Mini Max going. Flow looks nice and even. Now what I wanna do, I've got a bucket of classified material there. Well, I started off classified and then I put some material on from the top up there. But what I wanna do is after I wanna run that bucket, I wanna stick the pan at the end of the sluice and turn the mini the high banker off then turn it back on and check the pan and see if it flushed any gold out. I've been wondering about that. If I have to do a clean out every time I turn the high banker off. I guess that's a good idea, but well, let's, let's see. Oh, that's a relaxing sound. <laughs> oh.
You feed it pretty fast, these scoops in this guy. Break all that gooey clay stuff up on there with my hand. This camera looks good. I can see every bubble. Google Pixel 4a, under 400 bucks. Look at Lester's cool setup there. Double hog. You got the extension sluice, the hog thing. Two inch pump. He's gonna try to set up his dredge, two inch dredge and go over there on his bedrock. He felt a crack over there. I got bucket number two and to heck with it. I'm just gonna <clears throat> run it through without doing a clean out on that first one. And then, by the way, I saw a nice flake. A couple of them right together. I don't know if we'll be able to see them or not. I took the top off here briefly. Right up in there somewhere. Let's see. A couple nice flakes up in there. Anyway, let's get this run and then check it out. Maybe that, one more bucket. We'll get some footage. That is a nice setup, man. That that sluice is like a good 10 inches wide. This one, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It's got the scrubber bar in there. Uh, he yeah, showed me. Do you got that vial on you from uh, Yuba? Yeah. Look at this gold, guys. You got five grams in about a day. No. Were you panning or? Two hours a day, scratching and panning. Jeez. Two hours a day, about fourteen hours. We got to go out there and hang out with either. Uh, top cat. Top. Uh, Todd. Yeah. What do they call? Patriot. Patriot. Gold. Patriot prospecting. Now Patriot look at all this Yuba yeah. River gold. Now why do you call it Mother Yuba? Because she's good to you. Or? <laughs> <laughs> Always you, wondered. You'll find out when you get there. Oh, gee, I dropped it down. Oh, there. yeah. To... yeah. <laughs> There's also another guy, Blue Lee Gold, Tim from Blue Lee Gold. Huh. Has a couple claims out there on the Yuba. And we got to get there. Heck of a nice guy. He's from Hawaii. I've never got to prospect. Aloha, Tim. If you see this. <laughs> Aloha, brother. <laughs> Yuba, brother. God bless the mother. Uh, we're trying here down here on Big Bug. But it's not, not that's not the Yuba, but no, we don't. You don't, you don't <laughs> stuff on the Yuba either. That's true. Imagine if you could, you could, oh. you could quit your job oh, yeah. and do that. <laughs> you got access to the that's the thing about Dang. It. These people take this serious. All right. I'm, ooh, that cold water feels good. All right, let me get this, this other bucket ran, grab some more. We're really opening that hole up over here. We'll show you that next, and we'll get some footage of him running that awesome setup right here. Nice little high banker. All right, we're in that whole bucket. And it's a half size bucket, but <laughs> it was full. So what I want to do now, there's the material we caught in that bucket. Lots of black sands up in there. Um, I want to put the pan down here. Turn the high banker on briefly and then shut it off. And pan this pan and see if it blew anything out. Except I think I need Lester there because this pan wants to float away. Okay. Got the pan catching it there. Let's turn it off. Ah, it floated away at the last second. I, this is a test. I've always wondered if you turn, you know, turn a high banker off after it's running and then turn it back on, does it flush gold out right away? I don't think there'll be anything in here. If, well, not much. Got the Mine Lab gold pan today with a little cleanup side and the main ripples there. I switched it over here. I 
there should be some gold in that box after what we saw digging there yesterday in that spot but not one speck of gold in that pan of course i didn't leave it running but a few seconds but it didn't immediately flush gold into the pan let's get this pan down and <sighs> all right here's the goof up for today so you remember last time i used the keen mini max uh months ago i used it as a sluice and use it as a sluice box i'll show you how quick and easy this is to do a clean out we're gonna put a pan at the bottom or a bucket one pan full of water whoosh Take the top off, done. But you got to take this off and put the flare on the back. Well, what I forgot to do was there's a metal plate that holds the back of the matting down. So imagine what's all in there. <sighs> so basically, I really can't use that the rest unless I take the matting the matting out and only use this part here which which should work let's try it you know better, better than panning <laughs> so all right let's get this cleaned out oh the pan floated away whoa we're sharing the only water on upper big bug <laughs> got us pumped down in the bucket you're getting ready to fire up make a bunch of noise <laughs> Ready to do that. <laughs> Move a bunch. I like that setup. Oh my god. I think Jeff Smidwest Adventures has a setup just like this as well. And He's then he, got one. He made a, a high macker out of his sluice. His yeah. Sluice. Jeez. This is, this Does is it the, come with the miner's moss down at the front or did you yes. cut that? And, it, That's, that right there. These is are ready to go. You buy it and you it just comes, put a. That's wow. as it comes um, from Gold Hulk. But this is, uh, this is the piglet. This is the yeah. small high back. That smaller one? Yeah, it's the small one. They got Jeez. wrappers. They got big ones. The only thing I don't that I don't like personally is this little area. It's too much messing around and instead <coughs> of shoveling and shoveling. It's and destruction chamber. That's for play or whatever. That is cool. It will break it down. Yeah. I think I want to get me a, a little pro line. It's a little pro line high banker. Uh -huh. Those are sweet. Uh, real light. Uh, two toes had one. Two toes. Yeah, little tiny thing. I seen it. Yeah, I like. I want to get me one of those. The Dinkin. Never mind. <laughs> I like the Keen Mini Max, but honestly, that gets old. <laughs> A little scoop. I want to just shovel, shovel, shovel. All right. Can you do me a favor, real quick, Lester? I'm sorry. Just uh, hold the pan at the end of the sluice here, so I don't dump it all in the creek. <laughs> See, filling up his pump over there, getting it primed. And yes, didn't know that rock was there. I bet you he's gonna have a mountain of tailings by the end of the day over here, size of a small car there. Thank you, Lester. Just I just gotta stabilize that so it doesn't take off. Here it comes. And it's just like that. She's clean. Clean enough. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lester. So nice and quiet up here today. We're going to add some noise here shortly. Yeah. And some gold. I'm going to go scratch the pan at all right oh by the way that's speaking of pans so i panned out that little that little half size bucket of material from the mini max and we already got this here i'm still scratching the top of the hole in different areas so i'll run several more buckets and see where we're at all right Okay, we got the new <laughs> and not improved version of the Mini Max. So I've got the matting here. That's where most of the gold stays. Underneath the expanded metal and the matting, right in here. Most of your 90 some percent of your gold stays here, doesn't even go into here. But we're just gonna have the, this is basically only to hold the matting in. So we're just basically down to a little sluice box here. But, and I brought the angle of the hopper way down here to slow the feet of water. And 
I think some of our gold will show up right in here, actually, up in the hopper part. All right, let's fire it up. Oh. Yeah, see that nice flow over that? I think we'll be catching gold. A lot of like clay and get all that broke up, wash the rocks. Yeah, usually when you have the angle back, the larger rocks roll right off to here for you, but it's working. Better beats. <laughs> pan after pan after pan. I can just sit in a chair and do this all day. It's got his two inch dredge going. Look at that clay. Got good suction. Pretty sweet. I don't think he's going to lose any gold. It's got to go all the way through all that hog matting. All the way. <laughs> Dang. Looks like a nice flow across there. You see how it's all getting agitated and scrubbed and very nice. All right, by the way, speaking of very nice, got a really good piece. Probably see it from back here tip of my finger that was in the second bucket a nice practically a picker ah. flat picker <laughs> but yeah and it's a bunch of other finds in there I saw that that's that's good might be on some good gold here we'll have to dig dig deeper pieces one actually damn it's about 20 of fines that's like blue bowl stuff but all right gold in every pan though could smell that all the way up the canyon big half pound burgers Oh, Lester's way down up the canyon there making his way back after he does that last pan, hopefully, and he doesn't get lost in the wilderness here. And we'll go see you back in a bit. Do a couple more buckets, probably start hauling all that stuff back up the mountain. I think next weekend I need to take it easy. I'm tired after driving all week. We're going to go for an ATV ride up to the Del Pasco mine or something. I've always wanted to see that. So... Toasted buns. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> Hi. Do you bring buns? Buns. <laughs> oh. Somebody, Come here. Somebody shoved some bread. Uh, I'm here. That's because Andy's uh, having yeah. buns. Oh. <laughs> and I've got to have gluten-free bread. What? For my buns. Uh, yeah, but you had biscuits and gravy for breakfast. And How much hamburger did you buy? Oh, well, at least you haven't had, had him buy as, near as much beer with me gone all week. Yeah, yeah quit offering me kale chips. It's vile. Kale chips are yummy. Ugh. I said, no, I don't want kale chips. I want chicken fried steak with gravy. I want. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The old sheriff is cooking the grub over there. We're back, our belly's full, too full. <laughs> um, I've been getting a bucket of goo out of way down here. Look at the bedrock. I thought I found bedrock. There's bedrock here, bedrock here. And I'm in a deep V crack right here. Look how deep the shovel's going in here. It's still getting material. And I really wish I'd have brought my suck my sucker tube. I'd got one, it's got quite a bit of suction. 
of this material. Uh, like I said, I really wish I'd have brought my sucker tube. I'd probably be able to pull something good out of there. All right, let's get this panned out. It's looking better. If you look at the hole here, it started literally way up here. About way up here was the material covering for our, down there is a good like almost four foot level Whew. all right let's go pan this out <laughs> well guys here's the con i need to take these cons home these are blue bowl cons there is so much microscopic flower dust gold all through that we'll have to do a video on that i'll break my blue bowl out one of these days and but here's the gold for not bad. It's hard to clean. There's a lot of it, but it's hard to clean. It's about That's the a, same weight as the damn black sand, you know? It's a nice chunk right there. Oh, here we go. Trying to see where this is going to focus. It doesn't like it up close, that's for sure. I'm getting some more odd shaped stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, he found a piece of wire gold, which is odd for a running creek. It might be it came off the hillside right above the hole there or something. It was washed right down there. But, well, had another good day with Lester. Got some more gold and, uh, uh, Sun's gonna go behind that mountain, and then we're uh, mountain lion uh, food. <laughs> All right, another exciting adventure. I said, hang out, hang out with us. We'll go to that mine next week. And Lester shared these Yingling. It's an amber, but it's really crisp and smooth. That stuff's good. We all had one of those, but he's taking some Arizona pinstriping back to Pennsylvania with him. Oh man. <laughs> Man, hopefully that buffs out.